you guys, gravel is something you probably never think about, but then when you go to do any outdoor project, you need to be thinking about it. And so I wanted to show you the differences between the most common types of gravel that we use in our area in the deep south Gulf Coast, um, what they're used for, what I would use them for as a designer, and what I wouldn't use them for as a designer. Um, we have sitting in front of me, this is uh, what I would call crush and run. It is a very finely crushed limestone. This is what's known in the industry as number 57. This is also a crushed limestone, but it's just not as finely crushed as this one. And then finally, we have the beloved pea gravel. Everyone loves their pea gravel. Pea gravel, of course, can come in different colors, um, browns, grays, you know, kind of a mix in, uh, in between. But for me, if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that for me, pea gravel is only good for French drain systems. French drain systems, of course, go underneath the ground. No one is walking on it. No one's driving on it. No children are getting it stuck in their shoes or picking it up and throwing it. Um, it's not getting stuck in lawnmower blades. All the reasons why um, using pea gravel is usually on my no-no list. Um, but it's really good for underground French drain drainage in, in, a, in that type of situation. Now. Let's talk about this guy right here. This is the number 57. This one is one that you'll see all the time being used as driveway material, which is what it's great for. It can handle a lot of traffic. Um, it's also used in situations like drainage. And I will also highly recommend this material for any time you do a dry well. If you don't know what a dry well is, it is this basically large basin that you put underneath the ground, fill it with a material like this that will allow for water to be held underneath the ground. This kind of um, allows for water to, to hang underneath it. It's not going to lock together. Um, and so that's really good underneath the ground for your drainage. So both of these are really good drainage materials. They'll put this behind a retaining wall, that type thing. Now, what I have seen a lot of lately is people using this material for their fire pit areas as a, it's, it's more cost effective. To get a load of gravel, it's pretty inexpensive in comparison to a paver or concrete or something like that. So I understand it from the cost effective perspective, but I would ask you to consider this guy right here, the crush and run, instead of the limestone because this is really, really hard underfoot. Um, it's not comfortable to walk on even with shoes on. It's good for a driveway because eventually the driveway will like break it down to some extent. It'll push it in and it'll get kind of flat. But in any kind of pedestrian walkway or a fire pit area, you're not going to achieve that kind of um, soft, even surface. Also, it can be a trip hazard if it's not really packed down well. So let's talk about the crush and run. This is going to be my winner and favorite for any kind of situation where it's a pedestrian walkway, a fire pit area. This stuff essentially packs together tightly to where it's almost like concrete. Um, when it's properly installed, it is poured in and packed down with, as we affectionately call it in the business, a whacker packer. Um, and so it's nice and smooth. The rain will uh, wash off of it. Um, it's not going to run away from you. Now, this item is not to be used in a dry well situation or any kind of drainage situation. Um, they'll use it as a base for patios um, that are made out of pavers or bricks or something like that because it is it does compact nice and solid but it is not to be used for any kind of drainage situation this does not allow for water to truly run through the way that these two materials do so be really really careful when you're choosing a material and be careful when you're hiring someone that they're using the right material because it does matter as to how the overall end of your project is going to end up whether they're using a this is called a base material um, which I call crush and run um, this is more of a drainage, and this one's also for drainage. So just keep that in mind as you're going through your project. I want you guys to be as educated on this stuff as possible. There are some design elements, of course, and color and things like that, but ultimately you wanna make sure that you're not ended up causing more runoff or more drainage issues than you already have. So if you have any questions about that, be sure to comment below and I'll answer any questions you have about all the gravel.